Kepler. Been a very stormy morning so far. We still have some thunderstorms ongoing and some rain, but we're starting to see the uh, the threat for severe storms kind of slowly coming to an end. We've had just a couple of storm reports, mainly tree damage, so just kind of some minor stuff here. But you can see a couple of those into Shelby and also into uh, southwestern Jefferson counties. Looks like in the uh, Lake Purdy community and then also uh, close to McCalla as well. So so far, just a couple of tree damage reports. Uh, as far as right now, we've got uh, still an active severe thunderstorm warning on going into Clay County, down into Coosa County. Uh, kind of the leading edge of this is where we're seeing some of the uh, the strongest winds. Uh, winds on the order of uh, up to 60 miles per hour are still possible at the leading edge of that, which is why we still have that severe thunderstorm warning ongoing. Back to the west, it's obviously still raining in the metro area, but the severe weather threat has ended. And we do still have some pretty strong storms here, green and hail counties, and all of these are kind of shifting off to the east with time. And then uh, down, it looks like into a southern sections of Chilton County too. So we still have a few areas of concern that we'll be keeping an eye on probably for the next hour, hour and a half before a lot of this kind of moves out of the area. But really some of the worst of the uh, the weather out to near the Talladega National Forest from Delta now kind of shifting to the east of Ashland and Millerville and eventually heading over there toward Wadawi. The metro area we're still covered up. If you're going to be heading out for some lunch, hopefully you brought that umbrella. Although I do think the rain is really going to start to uh, kind of back off here within the next hour. So probably by 12 30. Uh, we'll see the the rain letting up quite a bit. It's still going to be plenty wet out there for quite some time, obviously, since we've had so much rain already this morning, but things are starting to dry out a bit here up across northwest Alabama, and that's really where we're starting to see temperatures dropping off quite a bit too, uh, down into the 50s. This is a look at our Grandview Medical Center sky cam at Highway 280. Not a very nice uh, Monday morning out there. Visibility is not too terribly bad. It looks like we've got a little bit of fog around, but things are just still really wet, and we're still in the mid 60s in the metro area, but that is going to be changing. As you can see, temperatures just to our north are already down into the 50s at this hour, 58 in Haleyville, and those numbers will continue to drop even further as we head through the day today. Harmony Mendoza standing by to kind of give us an idea of when the rain will wrap up. Yeah, Steph, those temperatures are lined up right with the cloud cover and the rain. As you look towards northwest Alabama, where Stephanie was just saying the temperatures are already down into the 50s, that's where we're beginning to see the clouds clearing just a bit, drying out just a bit. We're seeing most of this rain still really clustered up along I-65 eastward and 5920 eastward. This is the future cast and I like this particular future cast because it's lined up pretty well as to what we're seeing right now and it's making that uh, basically a hypothesis as to what's going to happen with this line of rain. It will be south of Jefferson County by one o'clock this afternoon, continue to move southward. And as this rain ends by five o'clock this afternoon, it'll likely start to really taper off widespread in Montgomery. By that point, we dry out too by tonight, but this is not the end of the rain chances. Unfortunately, this isn't a, a situation where we see the rain chances just out of the picture. We'll have spotty rain chances coming up from the south in the days ahead and then a more well pronounced weather feature on Friday. So today, 65 degrees through noon, still breezy and chilly, 55 as we head towards 3. And in your full 7-day forecast, we're looking at the temperatures a little closer to the freezing mark by tomorrow morning. That's if a lot of the cloud cover doesn't kind of linger. But cloudy, colder highs in the 50s, that chance for showers stays in the forecast, but we will get a little bit warmer by the end of the week.